Marker. Sit down, my dearest friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. No, I think the last time I played this okay. was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. And here we go. Okay. There you go. Talk to the families now, so who oh. oh, they are or oh. John Marston. I think I'm gonna hit John Marston because it's a little bit further. Alright. Let's go see what John is about to say. That's where we're going. And be there in a moment. And we here are probably going to talk to these fellas. Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have okay. a wonderful day now. We need to go around, huh? Okay. Good man. Like you. You don't know me. All right, pals. Turn up in this town. What will happen now? You're helping everybody. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. 
My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. In the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you. Five thousand. Five thousand? For horses? Easy. Where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they sure. keep the thoroughbred. All right, pal. All right. I guess we're gonna get some expensive horses. Would be would they would they be like really good? Maybe keep one. Crazy old fool! You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. Not yet. They're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand yeah. dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Yeah. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. Make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Yeah. Tranquilo. Is this the back way? Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? What up, God? We're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Her partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's... Head on up to the stables. So yeah. long, see ya. Thank you very much. It was easy. There, girl. Okay, what now? Can I get let's drink this? Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where's the stable? The stable's just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. Head around the front. Hitch up there. Ah. Oh, is he here? Okay. All right, let's hitch up here. Come on, horse. He's real good there, girl. Let me do the talking. Hello. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here 
you, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs, available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Yep. Of course. Well, this here is Cerberus. Here you go. Ah, uh -huh, greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody wrecked. And then it's on. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on, Come relax. On. Good boy. Oop. Easy now. Whoa. Easy. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Okay, tough guy. Easy there. Come on. Come down. You're okay, boy. Calm down. Go easy, boy. Wait, what? What happened? It took too long or something? This here's Cerberus. Okay. Herbert. All right. Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Yep. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Come down. Easy now. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier. You're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you right point. I'll cover up the back if there's any problems. Marston, you right point. I'll cover up the back if there's any problems. We regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. Easy. Calm down, Harris. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Why is he? Why is he? As dumb as you look, huh? Easy, boy. What the snap? What's happening? Come on, let me get the horse. Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Do I maybe need to? All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Come down, horse. Come on. Good boy. Easy, easy, easy now. Okay. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Follow John with the horse. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back if there's any problems. We regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. Yep. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two. I want to. What the hell you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Somebody else? All right. More coming this way. Out of the fields. All right. Oops. Tree. Watch out by that wagon. All right, 
there will be that. You like? No, don't think so. All right. Whoa, Probably took it too late, but. <laughs> Shit. Oh. One of the stallions is loose. Keep going. I'll get him. Come down, stallion. Oh no. Oh my gosh, what the hell am I doing? <sighs> Come on. There we go. Gotcha. Hey now. Come on. Let's go. Come on now. Come here. Come with me. Come on, buddy. I think I need to maybe make him this stupid horse. <sighs> I think I just do one of these now. Ooh, it's a, it's a very good horse. Oh, we need to do one of these. Gosh darn it. What can I do now? I'm confused. Wait. This way. Come on. Can we like hook it here? <sighs> I don't know what you want me to do, dude. So confused. Mm -hmm. 
Calm down, horse. What the? That definitely is not gonna help, man. G, G. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. It's all right, boy. Was my bad. Okay. Okay, now, can you get attached to my horse or something? Or do I know where I need to go? Clearly I don't know where I need to go. Can you just oh this way girl What the Let's go girl It's okay How do I? Gotcha. Okay, let's go. Nice and slow. I don't understand what his house wants. Easy, easy. Come down, horse. What's your problem? Let's go. What's your problem, horse? Come on. Come on. How far is this thing? Oh my god, quite far. Come on. Let's go nice and slow. Come on, buddy. Maybe a little bit quicker. I don't even want to go even through the hall with you, because you... Such a pressure, huh? Come on. You're almost there. Come on. Come on. 
Yeah, I know. Well done. Lemon's Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Okay. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll yeah. be on my gravestone. <laughs> it's gonna get smoother, you think huh? They look like they're paying five thousand for horses. I guess we'll see. I feel like they're not gonna pay five thousand for horses. Let's have a chit chat then. What are you up to, pal? What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John. Arthur. Javier. So what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah. I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 654. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true, not one little bit. But I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Hmm. That really didn't work in our favor. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family, and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Well, seven hundred's still not bad. Luckily for me, I got plenty of money. All right, that was a little bit long. Guess. Let's see what Hussy Matthews is about. Oh, I didn't put my met thingy thing. Thingy thing. thing. Alright, get me a horse and now uh, I'm gonna check it out. Come on. Can you just book a little bit quicker? No, 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 no. I don't want that horse. I want this bad boy. I want my bad boy. Alright. And me on the way. Come on. Drink this. I have a feeling I can go this way. What's happening here? You good fellas? I think I overheard something. 
This road is so great. Alright, I'm expecting troubles, but it's like always. You never know what got troubles. Howdy. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. All right, thank you very much, boys. You could tell me where they are. What's this all about? Not your problem. Hello, mister. Ah, uh, please come in, sir. Ooh, it's a lovely house. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <sighs> Arthur, welcome. We're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper? Bonds, metal... <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. It's a very nice house. Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> because you're gonna drive slow. And we don't have that much time to hang around. So let's go. Alright, let's get this over with. To Calinga Hall, okay. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat. Is it far? Oh, we could try cut. Pull it clean out of That's his what ass. we're gonna do. A smoke fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep, yeah, using that back there. The moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fit. Yeah, she across did. her field. <laughs> I'm thinking it's how about my toy fit and my boot up your hook. No, Come on, Narcissus. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea in the manor, didn't he? Back on the road. Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, the more for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really very sick yeah. money at the end of all this. Jose and man is everywhere, man. Does he though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the break weight still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. He just robbed their horses, he? too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there, up. Whoa. Okay. Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them Gray's English? Excuse me? Are you not worried about them Gray's? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Right. You know what? Here, I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> we're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. Okay.
Oh, hello, fella. What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Oh, boy. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. Okay. And these to be moving. Uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Yeah. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> what a lovely house is, man. Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep okay. track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Okay. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. I Just in you. here. Go. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <laughs> <clears throat> Quite a place you oh uh, boy. got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, the average man sups on. <clears throat> <clears throat> You can hold up in here till it gets dark. Got him. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, There'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Oh, hello. already arrived this one didn't strange so what Ooh. you got there tools paper can I get one of those I guess okay. drop it by the supply shed at the back of the field sure see you later you hear that payroll yeah 
Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take okay. care of this fella. Cameron. One, you douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. This one. That's good. Yeah. It's very good. That's good for you. Okay, this fella. And we pouring the moonshine down on your fields. Should be enough for here. And a little bit here. Field. New barn. They kind of not having ears, huh? Well. Yeah, you knew that. Hey, move, dude. Can't pick it up. After you, so. Let's go lure yourselves a fat cigar. You ain't leaving here. We deal with these fellas. Somebody shoot them already. Uh, this one. I'm confused. Okay, these guys are weird. They tell you that we are an army of them? They didn't tell me nothing. The weapon okay. saw come in earlier. We can nick the horses from that. All right, where is it? Look out! Here come more of them! I got the right! Ah! Come on! Jesus! 
Yeah, I'm going. Oh my god, it's fire everywhere. Can't see you, so. You're done now. This is what it's all about. Oh, I thought you are having fun. Oh boy. Just put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. Yeah. You coming? Yes. Sure. <laughs> do, 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 do. Well, let's see if the plan to put those two families against each other even more works. Here we are. Home sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. Will do. Hey, got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. All right. Like we got a new horse. Alright, just like that, I will leave it here and say goodbye. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in comments. It was firing an episode from the fire. All that, get it? Cool. And as always, let me know down in comments if you enjoy it. Of course, leave a like, leave a comment, all the good stuff. And if you want to see more in the next episode, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you then, as this one has been wrapped.